all right just thought i'd do another quick video um i did another video um explaining some coverages you can use with just using rookie bases or speed turf bases that don't have dials um showing that you can still run some zone defenses some safer uh more consistent plays that doesn't require a lot of uh serious thinking um a lot of the players will be in positions on their own uh you won't have to overthink yourself with a lot of pivots uh most of the guys should be in position you may have to move a few after a pass completion and stuff like that so the other ones i explained were man and cover two this one's a cover three which is for a little longer down in distance um in this case you can see my marker here but the first down marker is there so you're looking at about a, a 20 yard needed to gain so i'm going to run a cover three so i got three deep safeties here and i got my two linebackers and my two corners if you notice my two corners are on the on the numbers they're about 15 yards off they're just going to come straight down and take away anything coming across right away and then also take the flat on both sides now the linebackers are coming down they're going to be able to make a, a play on anything inside of here if not disrupt any pattern that's trying to come across here um, the ends are out wide because of course you don't want to just give up a free release here it's going to be a little tight area between here that that receiver he wants to come in here same with this tight end so you just want to you know disrupt passing angles you know uh, with most people using triple threat quarterbacks you know it's not the easiest thing to try to throw it between people over and under receivers so you just want to make them kind of throw into some coverage opposed to just having a wide open guy so and obviously like i said this is a for a longer down in distance you you probably wouldn't want to use this you know second and five third and three stuff like that this is for longer longer down in distances so I'm going to run it for a second, and then we'll see how everyone is positioned after a quick run, uh, which would simulate a quick stoppage. Okay, so as you can see, I got the line dropping back, so they're, um, that's why those ends aren't getting around as quick. But you can see that end came up field, so he made a tough passing angle there. Um, this one didn't as much, so you can get it out there, but again, he's free to come up and make a tackle. He's, everybody's coming downhill, okay? So obviously you wouldn't want to do much here because first down marker's there and everybody's still coming up in position. I'm going to run it again. Okay. Again, he's almost covering two people here. Okay. Still got him in position. He's covering two people pretty much. The linebackers are coming downhill. Safeties are coming behind him. Let's go one more, one more stoppage, and that should be the last one, which would be about a three to four second play. Okay. So now you got everybody coming downfield. You got those, those two there. He came in a little bit too too tight. He should have been more like him. So if he's more like him, he's more here. He's in a little better position. But again, all of these guys are in position to be pivoted because they're free. They're not engaged. They're not tied up with anybody. So you know, and again, you're forcing a tough pass. You know, that's all you really want to try to do is, and you know, you want to be the cover guys, but at the least, you want to make a tough pass. So those two are open out there. But then if they made that play, you got a pivot here, pivot here, and a pivot here. And then somebody would make a play. You would have a big gain. But that's giving no pressure. And then like I said, this guy, if he'd have been in a little better position, he would have uh been in a better position to defend the pass. You can see over here it's a lot better. These two guys are covered pretty much here that back is still picked up there so you got these two guys here but that's a pretty long throw so it's not the easiest throw that's what you want to do you just want to make things hard so again this is just a simple way to play uh, i'm sure the uh, more advanced players wouldn't pick up as much to this i mean maybe they would maybe they wouldn't the better your bases are the more success you're going to have with it as you can see that base was one of the ones i just used i got with the board so you, you know if he was coming down he was more straight that's that's a, that's it looks more like it would look more like over here. I mean, this is this is a really tough. You can see that angle. That's a really tough passing angle. If uh, you wanted to make a pass from there, so hope you enjoy.